diabetes has become an epidemic, sentencing over 460 million people worldwide to lifelong medication. Science is striving to find a diabetes treatment that can cure this chronic disease, but how close are we? In this video, we are going to look at what's brewing in the field to chase diabetes. Although there are similarities between the symptoms the treatment perspective differs for two types of diabetes. Type 1 diabetes is an autoimmune disease that destroys insulin-producing beta-pancreatic cells. The biotech industry is striving to develop methods to replace missing cells with cell therapy. Cell therapy is one of the biggest hopes towards developing a cure for diabetes, especially for type 1 diabetes. Replacing the missing insulin-producing cells could potentially recover normal insulin production and cure patients. However, early attempts to transplant pancreatic cells have largely failed, mostly due to immune reactions that reject and destroy the implanted cells. The lack of donors is also a limitation. One of the most advanced alternatives comes from the Diabetes Research Institute in the US, which is developing a bioengineered mini-organ where insulin-producing cells are encapsulated within a protective barrier. This mini-pancreas is then implanted into the omentum, a part of the abdominal lining. Many Western organizations are working on this method improve the engraftment of insulin-producing cells. In type 1 diabetes, insulin-producing cells are progressively destroyed by the immune system. Stopping this process early enough could preserve the cells and provide a cure. Here immunotherapy designed to stop type 1 diabetes by specifically killing the immune cells that destroy the pancreas. For people that have already lost their insulin-producing cells, a shorter-term solution could be the artificial pancreas, a fully automated system that can measure glucose levels and inject the right amount of insulin into the bloodstream, just like a healthy pancreas would. Replacing humans with computers could help patients better control their sugar levels and suffer fewer complications in the long term. However, in order to fully automate insulin therapy, there are several challenges yet to be addressed. First of all, faster forms of insulin are needed to react quickly enough to changes in sugar blood. In addition, current algorithms need to significantly improve to be able to make accurate predictions. During the past decade, over 40 new pills and injections were approved for diabetes. However, the scary reality is that the majority of patients with type 2 diabetes still have poor glycemic control. One of the biggest hits in type 2 diabetes treatment are glucagon-like peptid, 1 receptor agonists, which induce insulin production in beta-pancreatic cells while suppressing the secretion of glucagon, a hormone with the opposite effect to insulin. In the past decade, scientists have realized the big role that the microbes living inside and on us play in our health. The human microbiome, and especially the gut microbiome, has been linked to multiple chronic diseases, including diabetes. An unbalanced microbiome composition has been found in patients with diabetes, who tend to have a less diverse gut microbiome as compared to healthy people. In 2017, researchers from the University of Amsterdam showed that fecal transplants, used to transfer the microbiome of a healthy person to the gut of one with diabetes, can result in a short-term improvement of insulin resistance in obese patients with type 2 diabetes. In 2021, similar results were shown in patients who had recently been diagnosed with type 1 diabetes. Whatever the future brings, it will undoubtedly make a huge difference in the lives of millions of people worldwide. Subscribe us for more videos like this.